We are trained to raise our hands in school to have the answer. We rarely get a gold star for raising our hands and saying, I don't know. From an early age, we are like, the, you get the gold star for having the answer. Then we go to school, college, same thing. We're trained as an expert. Then we go to work and we're really rewarded well for being finding the answers and being the smart guy or gal in the room. So that's sort of embedded unconsciously in how we operate when we're in a group of people, uh, whether it's education or, or business. And then, so we sort of like lean, lean into, un, unconsciously lean into being advocates because we want to have the answer. We're often addicted to our answer. Our ego is attached to our answer, right? I'm not uh, casting judgment. I'm just saying that's a pattern. I, I love to think about these things as patterns, which you guys probably picked up on, because it's a little less judgmental. You know, the idea of, oh, I have a pattern that does that is a little less judgmental because it's not, I didn't consciously choose that story or I didn't consciously choose that opinion. Wow, I adopted that. And let me, let me have a, a fresh look, right? So if we can sort of start paying attention to that pattern of how we advocate, then we can bring the stepchild inquiry <laughs> into the equation, you know, and we can go, wait a minute, there's a whole nother part of the equation, which is if I come with my advocacy, not with a fist, but with an open hand, then I, I'm also often I have to default. Many people, leaders especially, have to default to inquire because it's so not their pattern. And finding that balance is, is takes a lot of self-investigation, right? To go, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, you know, at one extreme, I'm being arrogant and I'm being a jerk and I have the answer and my team won't talk to me because I always have the right answer. At the other extreme are people that, that, that don't trust their voice and never speak up. But somewhere in the middle, there's that balance of inquiry and advocacy where we really do sync up. Yeah. And I feel the questions that we enjoy the most have that balance, have that opportunity for you to advocate your thoughts, opinions, and beliefs. And then also that openness to get someone else to share. When we default to one behavior or the other, we're actually doing a disservice to a great conversation. Mm -hmm. 